Dear students, up till now you have seen my videos regarding work power energy, regarding D L M Burns principle, center of gravity, theory of stresses, derivation of Bell friction. Today we will be dealing with question number one and question number two, that is basic fundamentals. The initial part, what force is all about. Now we define force as that physical quantity which, when applied on a body, body either changes or tends to change its state of rest or of motion. Force एक ऐसी physical quantity है जो जब किसी body पे लगती है तो body rest में हो तो motion में आती motion में आए तो rest में आने की कोशिश करती ऐसा ना हो तो at least tendency तो भी रहती How we define force? Force is that physical quantity which when applied on a body, body either changes or tends to change its state of rest or of motion. Mathematically, F is equal to ma. As far as units are concerned, SI unit is Newton, CGS unit is what is dyne. Now, force is a vector quantity. Further, what we say is characteristics of force. Characteristics of force. Now, to define a force completely, we require four things. First is its magnitude. Second, point of application. Third, direction. And the fourth is its nature. Now, nature of the force can be tensile or compressive. Either of pulling nature or of pushing nature. To define a force completely, we require four things. One is magnitude, point of application, direction and nature of that force, whether it is tensile or compressive, whether it is of pulling or pushing nature. Force kitna hai, kaha pe act ho raha, kaise act ho raha, aur uska nature kya hai. Force ke definition agar do mark ke liya hati hai, define force aata hai, explain force aata hai. So what you will write is, force is that physical quantity, which when applied on a body, body either changes or tends to change its state of rest or of motion. Mathematically, F is equal to M. Units are Newton and Dyne. To define force completely, four things are required. Magnitude, point of application, direction and the nature of that force. Now, after force, the next part that we do come across is what is a rigid body. Rigid body is basically a body which shows negligible deformation to the application of external force. जब भी कोई external force apply होता है, तो जो body zero deformation बताती है, negligible deformation बताती है, उसको बोलते हैं rigid body. Now I am applying force on this pen. Because of application of force, the shape of this pen do not change. जिसका shape नहीं बदलता, वो हो जाता है rigid. Now this wall is a rigid body. This table is a rigid body. So the body which shows negligible deformation on the application of external force is what we say as rigid body. जब भी कोई external force किसी rigid body पर act होता है, तो then it becomes a force system. Whenever rigid body is subjected to one or more than one forces, then it is said to be a force system. We divide this force system into two categories. This force system is classified into two categories. One is coplanar force system, coplanar force system, and the second is non-coplanar force system. Coplanar का मतलब होता है एक प्लेन में जब external forces acting on a rigid body lie in one plane, then it forms a coplanar force system. This is also known as two-dimensional force system. Two-dimensional है ने एक plane में होगा, x y plane होगा, y z plane होगा, x z plane होगा, but it will be a two-dimensional force system. When all the external forces acting on a rigid body lie in one plane, then it is known as coplanar force system or two-dimensional force system. When the forces acting on a rigid body do not lie in a single plane, take for an example, there are two forces F and Q, they are acting out and they are not acting in a single plane, then it becomes a non-coplanar force system 
or three dimensional forces when the forces acting on a rigid body do not lie in one single plane then it is known as non coplanar force system or three dimensional force system question aisa aata hai what is force system and classify force system so what we say is whenever external forces are acting on a rigid body then it forms a force system there are two types of force system coplanar force system and a non coplanar force system if the forces acting on a rigid body lie in one plane then it is coplanar force system and it is also known as two dimensional force system if the forces acting on a rigid body do not lie in one plane then it forms a three dimensional force system or non coplanar force system now these forces f and q they are acting in a single plane so it will get example of a coplanar force system this is an example of a non coplanar force system now there are further classifications of coplanar force system as well as non coplanar force system coplanar force system or non coplanar ko fir se classify karte hain pehle coplanar force system ka classification dekhein coplanar force system is classified as collinear force system if all the forces acting on a rigid body lie in one plane and have a single line of action then it forms a collinear force system if all coplanar forces have same line of action let us say this force is p this is another force q this is force f they have same line of action if they have same line of action then it forms a collinear force system coplanar force system ka dusra type hoga concurrent force system concurrent force system if point of application of all coplanar forces is same let us say p q and t these are the three forces they are acting at point o this is line of action of p for q and this is for t line of action of p q and t are different but their point of application is same so it forms a concurrent force system if point of application of coplanar forces is same then it forms a concurrent force system Now the third category is non-concurrent force system. Number three will be non-concurrent force system. If point of application and line of action of coplanar forces is not same, then it forms a non-concurrent force system. ना तो लाइन ऑफ एक्शन ना पॉइंट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन कोप्लेनर फोर्स सिस्टम का सेम है तो वो बन जाती नॉन कंकरेंट फोर्स सिस्टम ना दिस विल बी एन एग्जांपल ऑफ अ नॉन कंकरेंट फोर्स सिस्टम पी एंड क्यू दिस आर टू फोर्सेस दे आर एक्टिंग एट डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स दे हैव डिफरेंट लाइन ऑफ एक्शन अगेन दिस कैन बी एन एग्जांपल ऑफ नॉन कंकरेंट फोर्स सिस्टम पी क्यू एंड टी दिस आर थ्री फोर्सेस दे आर एक्टिंग एट थ्री डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स दे हैव थ्री डिफरेंट लाइन ऑफ एक्शन so it will be again an example of non concurrent forces if we observe these two examples in this case forces are acting at different points they have different line of action but these line of action they are parallel to each other hence they will form parallel force system so non concurrent force system is further classified into two categories one will be parallel force system and the second will be non parallel force system parallel force system hone ke liye non concurrent hona compulsory hai so agar non concurrent forces ki line of action ek dusre ko parallel hai to wo banegi parallel force system now this parallel force system is again of four types first one is equal and like parallel force system when we say equal magnitude should be same when we say like they should be direction should be same naturally they are parallel so they will have different point of application and line of action parallel to each other yadi do parallel forces ka ya number of parallel forces ka magnitude same hai direction same hai to wo ho jayegi equal and like parallel forces second part second type is unequal and like parallel forces to if parallel forces have same direction 
but opposite uh, but different magnitudes then it is unequal and like parallel pole system agar parallel pole system ka magnitude to alag alag hai lekin direction same hai to wo ho jayegi unequal and like parallel pole system the third type of parallel pole system is ab pehle case mein apne magnitude ko badla ab direction ke sath karte equal and unlike parallel pole system if magnitude of parallel forces is equal but direction is opposite then it forms an example of equal and unlike parallel forces the last category is unequal and unlike parallel force system if magnitude of parallel forces is not equal direction is also opposite then it forms unequal and unlike parallel force system ये सारा क्लासिफिकेशन जो देखा इक्वल एंड लाइक हो अनइक्वल एंड अनलाइक हो अनइक्वल एंड लाइक हो इक्वल एंड अनलाइक हो अनइक्वल एंड लाइक हो ये क्लासिफिकेशन है पैरेलल फोर्स सिस्टम का और पैरेलल फोर्स सिस्टम टाइप है नॉन कंकरेंट फोर्स सिस्टम का अगर नॉन पैरेलल फोर्स सिस्टम हो नॉन कंकरेंट नॉन पैरेलल हो तो फोर्सेस दे विल बी एक्टिंग एट डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स दे विल हैव लाइंस ऑफ एक्शन व्हिच आर नॉट पैरेलल टू ईच अदर if non concurrent forces have different line of actions non parallel to each other then it forms an example of non parallel non concurrent force system point of application alag alag hai line of action alag alag hai to wo example ban gaya non parallel non concurrent force system ka ye sara classification kiska tha to coplanar force system ka iske baad ka classification hoga नॉन कोप्लेनर फोर्स सिस्टम का नॉन कोप्लेनर फोर्स सिस्टम यानी इफ फोर्सेस एक्टिंग ऑन अ रिजिड बॉडी दे आर लाइंग इन डिफरेंट प्लेन्स देन इट फॉर्म्स अ नॉन कोप्लेनर फोर्स सिस्टम नॉन कोप्लेनर फोर्स सिस्टम के फर्दर दो टाइप्स बनते एक कंकरेंट नॉन कोप्लेनर फोर्स सिस्टम अब कंकरेंट नॉन कोप्लेनर यानी फोर्सेस दे आर एक्टिंग इन डिफरेंट प्लेन्स but they have same point of application this will be an example of concurrent non coplanar force system if the forces acting on a rigid body are acting in different planes but have same point of application then it is an example of concurrent non coplanar force system the second category is non concurrent non coplanar force system if the forces acting on a rigid body lie in different planes and do not have any point of common point of application then it call is called as known as non concurrent non coplanar force system if the force system it in a force system forces are acting in different planes and have different point of application then it is an example of non concurrent non coplanar force system a force system wala part चार मार्क के लिए तीन मार्क के लिए बहुत सी बार पूछा जाता है जैसे क्वाइट सिंपल फोर्स सिस्टम विल क्लासीफाई इनटू टू कैटेगरीज एक प्लेन में हो तो कोप्लेनर अलग अलग प्लेन में हो तो नॉन कोप्लेनर एक प्लेन में है यानी टू डायमेंशनल अलग अलग प्लेन में है तो थ्री डायमेंशनल कोप्लेनर के टाइप्स थे कोलिनियर लाइन ऑफ एक्शन से कंकरेंट पॉइंट ऑफ अप्लीकेशन से नॉन कंकरेंट नाइदर लाइन ऑफ एक्शन नॉर पॉइंट ऑफ अप्लीकेशन से कंकरेंट के दो टाइप पैरेलल एज वेल एज नॉन पैरेलल अगर नॉन कंकरेंट फोर्सेस के फोर्सेस की लाइन ऑफ एक्शन पैरेलल है तो पैरेलल नहीं तो फिर नॉन पैरेलल पैरेलल में दो टाइप चार टाइप थे इक्वल और लाइक इक्वल और अनलाइक अनइक्वल एंड लाइक अनइक्वल एंड अनलाइक नहीं तो फिर नॉन कोप्लेनर फोर्स सिस्टम था अगर फोर्सेस एक्टिंग ऑन अ रिजिड बॉडी दे आर लाइंग इन डिफरेंट प्लेन्स देन दैट इज नॉन कोप्लेनर If although they are lying in different plane but have common point of application, then it is non, then it is concurrent and non-coplanar force system. If they do not have any common point of application, then it is non-concurrent, non-coplanar force system. Right. Now in this video we had what force is, what force system is, and classification of force system. In the following video of first unit only question number one or question number two को ही target करने वाला होगा उसमें questions आएंगे what do you mean by resolution of a force what do you mean by resultant of force system law of parallelogram of forces 
along with that what are basic three laws of equilibrium that is law of principle of transmissibility second law of principle of superposition and third one is principle of physical independence of force all apart is ke just following wale video mein aayega इस पार्ट के रिगार्डिंग या इसके पहले के कोई भी प्रॉब्लम्स हैं वीडियोस के रिगार्डिंग छः सात वीडियोस हो गए हैं अब तक ये सारे वीडियोस जो अपने एग्जाम ओरिएंटेड है अमरावती यूनिवर्सिटी के क्वेश्चन थेरी क्वेश्चंस ओरिएंटेड है इसके अलावा कोई डिफिकल्टीज हो तो यू कैन कॉल मी ऑन माई नंबर माई नंबर इज देर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दैट वीडियोज थैंक यू